Hi, I'm Melissa Muir, and I'm excited to introduce you to one of the newest tools released by Pepe Tools. Have you noticed that it's been kind of difficult to get your hands on or obtain any of the quality tools by Pepe Tools in the past few years? Well, that is all changing as they have been relocating all of their design and manufacturing into their plant here in Oklahoma in the United States of America. So from here on out, all of their tools will be 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. The new series of the guillotine shears is the newest to be released. A guillotine shear is very desirable to have in your studio because of the compound cutting angle that it features, which enables you to have a nice clean cut in contrast from a bent shear where your metal will bend or curl as you are doing the cutting action, a guillotine shear leaves you with a nice sharp flat surface. So your cutting edge is great. The 4 inch shear has four holes for easy mounting. It must be properly secured to ensure your safety and proper use. The miter table features 0, 15, 30, and 45 degree angle presets. Just loosen the screws and nuts to adjust. Now you can cut any angle you desire. The cutting blade is made from high-end A2 blade steel, hardened to 60 HRC Rockwell, and then precision ground and sharpened to last upwards of 10,000 cuts. An optional measuring bar allows for multiple cuts at a predetermined length. Simply loosen the screw with the attached Allen key to preset the measure bar where you would like. Calibrate the measuring bar and tighten this little screw here with the attached Allen key. Now you will be able to set it at any cut that you would like and then tighten again with your Allen key. One of the things that I've done on my shear is place a magnet so that I can easily keep track of this Allen key. The 4 inch shear is designed to handle gold, silver, and copper up to 20 gauge, while the 6 inch and 12 inch versions will easily handle slightly thicker gauges. This type of blade will last much longer than regular carbon steel used on some of the other shears available currently on the market. The handle is made of thick steel which allows for effortless cuts. In addition to being made well, you will never have to worry about rust as the aluminum parts are anodized and the steel parts are plated. The blade itself has not been treated and will require a steady coat of light oil to prevent rust and to aid in a smooth cutting action. To help protect your blade and cutting edge, keep it well oiled with a nice light coat of oil. Simply run a Q-tip along the edge in here and also down from underneath on the back side. So now you've seen this guillotine shear in action. And again, like I said, there are three different versions going to be available, the 4 inch, the 6 inch, and the 12 inch. This is definitely one of those tools in my own personal metal studio that I cannot live without. It makes my work so much easier.